So I'm going to wrap up with the question I warned you about at the beginning. This is, this is our tradition with this event. We always ask the honorees to recommend to everybody watching a movie that's from this past year that maybe people might not all know about. So I'm going to kick it off as I like to do with this beautiful documentary that was nominated for an Academy Award this year. It's called The Mole Agent. And it's just an absolutely gorgeous film about a man who is asked to go undercover in an old folks home, essentially. And uh, it just leads to many, many beautiful relationships and a lot of eye-opening stuff about uh, aging and having aging parents. And it really moved me. So that's one that I recommend to people. It's on Hulu and you can watch it, The Mole Agent. So um, let me start with Zendaya. And I'll go backwards this time. What is something you will recommend oh. to people watching? Um, I'm really not good at this. I'm, I've literally, since you said, since you said that in the beginning, I've been stressed this whole time about thinking about something. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else is stressed out about it, but like, I mean, I've, I've just, I, I, I hate to be that guy and be like, well, everyone who's, you know, who's here, but I mean, you guys have all done such brilliant work. I've, you know, I've seen your films and, you know, so maybe that's the, the, the answer for me, but, um, but yeah, I, 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 I I'm not not good at this. I'm going to pass the torch on to somebody else. That's fine. I will allow that answer because it's very generous and sweet and true okay. uh, to Har Rahim. Uh, I think I'd say The White Tiger from uh, the Indian director Ramin Bahrani. Uh, it's, it's such a great movie. It's on Netflix and uh, it's the story of an Indian kid who's uh, trying to climb the social ladder and, and uh, you know, being it, it's incredible. You got to see it. I don't want to spoil, but the the performance of uh, Adar Gurav is incredible. What he's doing in this movie is incredible. It's well shot, and uh, yeah, I I love this movie. So, The White Tiger. And it was Oscar nominated for screenplay, deservedly. So good, good recommendation, Vanessa. What's yours? Um, mine is a documentary called Gunda, which oh. is. Um, have you seen it? Beautiful. Yeah. Yes. I've watched it love recently. Um, I love that pig. Yeah. It's a, <laughs> it's a documentary about, um, it's sort of like really on the level from the, from the farmyard animals perspective. And it sort of, it suddenly takes you out of any kind of like speciesism, if you know what I mean, thinking that you're in any way different, you know, and it just like really, it's just, it's so beautiful and, and that like, it's so, um, just stays with you so much. I think it's, I think it's a really important film actually to say that one. Good choice. Sydney. Um, so yeah, so I recently had the pleasure of working with director, um, Alex Thompson and Kelly O'Sullivan. And, um, before I went to go work on this last film I did, um, I watched their previous film, St. Francis and, um, mm. it was really a beautiful film and i think like in a way you know it sort of has similar sort of themes to never rarely but it's almost like much warmer than that and um yeah i i don't know how to really like summarize it in a nice short neat way but it was hands down like it was such a great movie it was so moving okay great andra what's your recommendation can I do two? You know what I mean? I'll yes. step in for Zendaya. You know what I mean? I got her back. Because <laughs> um, they're just so different. Um, so I think the first one I would say actually is um, Antebellum. I really enjoy movies where there are social justice themes that are, are told in the form of like a horror film, you know, because I think there's something, I, I don't really know the terms. I'm still learning a lot of the shit, fictional realism. <laughs> I don't know. I'll Google it. But um, yeah, so I, I love um, movies like that where there's, you know, just these very real special themes that are wrapped up in kind of like this fictional horror world. Um, the other one is a documentary by Don Porter called um, John Lewis, Good Trouble. Um, and uh, God rest his soul. But yeah, it's just about John Lewis is just his, who he really was. You know, I think we just have a very surface level understanding of him as a civil rights leader. But um, his fight for voting rights and and to to um, to overcome voter suppression and, and how it's sort of transformed, I think it's it's just a really brilliant uh, documentary. So I would suggest that, one. and that's my name today. <laughs> Kingsley, what's yours? There's a there's a movie called Rocks that um, 
I feel like I just want as many people as possible to see it because it's it's the first time really I've seen girls that I grew up with represented on screen in a way that's so positive and and uh, yeah, just deeply rooted in love and and truth and um, so yeah, I'd say rock. But my favorite film is Another Round. So I don't know. I'm torn between those two. Mm-hmm. Both good choices. And I think Rock's got a ton of BAFTA nominations, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. I haven't seen it, but I'm very curious about it. Okay, Maria, what's yours? Uh, Kingsley just got both of my choices, for sure. Rock's uh-huh. and Another Round. Because I'm a huge fan of Thomas Winterberg and Mats Mikkelsen both. Plus, Rock's is such a feminist-driven um, movie for a female power. And it's a brilliant young cast. It's a British independent movie. But I have to say also... Um, Calm with Horses, which is another British independent movie that is also should be seen. And I want to bring one show that I'm really um, obsessed with right now. Uh, it's a new show called Veneno. It's a Spanish show, and I do believe that it should be seen because it's about equality many... and it's about yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Okay, thank you for that, Riz. Finish it up. Oh man, I'm gonna just triple down on rocks. Uh, when you said that, Kingsley, I was just like punching the air. I, you know, it was kind of something that you were um, touching on as well, isn't there? When you were talking about Michaela Cole, I think one of the reasons her incredible show, I May Destroy You, which isn't a film, but it's a masterpiece. So I want to put that in the mix as well. Something that's just so incredible about it, apart from the writing and the themes and the characters, is it's a London and a UK that you don't normally see on screen. And I think a lot of people have this kind of idea of what, Britain is, and the reality is, is, is a lot more complex. I think it's a lot richer, actually, than the impression people got in their minds. And Rocks, to me, is at the vanguard of that. You've got all these brat, like first-time actors, um, you know, these kids, Costa Rally, Bucky Buckray, they're winning, like, best actress, you know, um, it's just changing up the whole kind of cultural landscape work like that. So make sure you go and see Rocks. Um, yeah. It's an amazing film. Great. 